So Vinted had it in the back pocket all along, just waiting for that perfect opportunity to blow it all up. So Vinted Pro is now here, but hold your goddamn horses before you start signing up. There's a few things you need to know first. Impatient people. I've got a couple of sales that I want to show you in the moment and then I might drag you to the charity shop. I'm not sure yet. I haven't decided. I'm going to draw the winner for a couple of competitions and then we're going to start a new one. But before we do that, how dare I remain topical and talk about it? How dare I? Vinted Pro is here. People are rushing to go and sign up, absolutely desperate to get on there. And I was as well. There's a couple of issues with Vinted Pro at the moment and I'm going to talk you through what they are and why you should not be doing them. At the moment, most of you are signing up to Vinted Pro or converting your accounts and you come to the UTR section, which everybody who is self-employed and making profit from reselling should have. So people asking me, what is a UTR number? Probably to stop. I'm not going to out you. I'm not the tax man. That's not my job. But if you don't know what a UTR number is and you're selling for profit, it's interesting. People are coming to the screen where it says enter your UTR number and it is just blanking you, freezing you out. You can't do anything. It says please enter a valid UTR number, even though it is. Most of you have copied and pasted it from your HMRC page and there's no reason why it should be wrong. This screen has been like that for about three to four weeks because I've been trying this page for the last three to four weeks. When I go to my Google, it says you're most frequently busy. I do it every day just to see if anything's changed. So this has been rolling out for a while in the background but it doesn't let me get past that UTR number. There's a few people in the community that have realized that using your national insurance number gets you past this. It works as your UTR number. Stop, don't do it. I actually tried it as well and it got, to the, and it got me through, but it said I had open order, so I couldn't do it anyway. Jumping in quickly as well, simply because I did the national insurance hack that everybody else was doing before I realized it was actually displaying your information. I was the idiot as well. Now my account is stuck here, so I think I have to actually sign up with the national insurance number and hopefully change it. I don't know, so I need to look into that. So anybody that is and have done that and you are on this page where you have pending transactions, bear in mind that you might be the national insurance number sign up like me. Oh! I'm an idiot. But learn from my mistakes. And then it started to come out and be revealed that these people that had signed up with their national insurance number, if you go to their pages, their national insurance numbers are displayed. They're there for everybody to see. That is risky as hell. They've got your name. They've got your national insurance number. If they want to place an order and get your full address off you, if their full address isn't displayed, because I'm seeing some people don't have to display their full address, then... Um, you're asking yourself for somebody to open up a Little Woods catalogue in your name. Is that even still a thing? Am I, am I old? Is Little Woods catalogue a thing? So it's obviously a glitch. It might be a foreign communication in the system where it's allowing, you know, it's asking for UTR, but it's recognising national insurance numbers because they're connected to you as a person. You're, I don't know. But either way, having that on display is not good. So just slow down. I'm sure Vinted are aware of this and they'll sort it out. If you're putting your national insurance number into a box that is asking for your UTR number, why? Why? Slow down. It's asking for your UTR, not your national insurance. But let's say, for example, your UTR number is working, or if you have a limited company, limited companies are just swiping straight through. It's, it's fantastic, because they have the company's house numbers and all those kinds of things, and it's just linked up nicely. But if you are getting to the section where you can get past all that and then you can't get past the phone number, plus four four. I couldn't figure out I was doing plus four four. I was dropping the zero and it still wasn't working. And then Kieran and Becky said, just do plus four four. And I said, I have, I have. So I tried plus four four without removing the zero and it, that got me through. You have to remember, Vinted is a, I think it's in Brussels, I think. So there are kind of different... You know, I'm guessing they're weeding things out into the UK market. I'm guessing they're trying to work out all these types of terminology and what's what and linking it to where and doing this and doing that and complying with this and complying with that. It's just a matter of time. So with this known glitch or whatever it is that's making the national insurance numbers known, stop putting your national insurance numbers into the UTR section. Stop, stop, stop. It will work itself out. And then we could all enjoy Vinted Pro without logging into our accounts every day going, I might have been blocked yet. Not I me. Mean. My shop is actually on holiday mode. I, had, I put it on holiday mode two days ago when I heard a rumour that Vinted were making you fulfil the rest of your orders first. And then yesterday, when I got to the order screen, it said, 
You still have orders you need to fulfill before you can convert. Maybe try putting your shop on a holiday mode. I was already one step ahead of you, Vinny. That's our nickname for each other, Vinny. So just hold your horses. Vintage Pro is here, but it's not quite perfect yet. All right, just relax. All right. I'm also seeing in a lot of comments on these people's videos, more included, that the thought process is resellers are going to ruin Vinted. They're going to drive all the prices up, blah, 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 blah. I, for one, won't be doing that. Man, I'll give my stuff away on Vinted pretty much. My prices are mwah, chef's kiss, even if I do say so myself. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> Sorry, Italian gangsters. Sorry. Scottish, Italian gangsters. Need to watch my back tonight. Yeah, it doesn't have to be a race to anything. You know, vintage will always be vintage. Yes, there will definitely 100% be a change in the prices as the market starts getting flooded with pro accounts and people are selling to, you know, buying to sell. But the majority of people is going to be Wendy and Mark at home clearing out their kids' wardrobe, clearing out their teenagers' wardrobe, selling off their own stuff and just wanting like five, six, seven quid for it. It'll still be that. I think I fall into the Wendy and Mark category. <laughs> Big up all the Wendy and Marks out there though. So yes, Vinted Pro is here. Hold on signing up just yet. Don't try and trick the boxes. If you try and trick the boxes, anything that happens after that, it's all on you, isn't it? Whee! So there, we've kept it topical. There's a lot going on in the community at the moment, so I've got to keep it topical, haven't I? But I would hate for there to be too much drama for a simple car boot channel. <laughs> Apparently my authenticity is fantastic at first, but after a while, it gets too real in here and it starts to get a bit grating. Well, you can piss off, can't you, you knobhead? Okay, we've had a couple more sales. I'll show you these quickly just to add to yesterday's. Nothing drastic. Again, I can't show you any vintage sales because my shop is on holiday mode, waiting for all those orders to complete themselves. So if you have ordered from me, as soon as you get your item, please complete it. I would really appreciate that. Thank you. Ian has made another purchase. He's picked up the Le Creuset mug. Somebody asked me for this in the comments, but I tried to find it. I was scrolling and scrolling and scrolling using keywords as I couldn't find anything. Maybe it was you. So if it was you, then fantastic, Ian. But he's picked this up for £9.99. All in, I paid 75 pence. Let's not break it now, shall we? For £22, we sold the Google Chrome. I'm going through all my boxes. I've got boxes and boxes of stuff up here. I just keep finding, like, quick, easy, relatively medium to high value. I say high value, like 22 quid's all right, innit? It's not bad, is it? But I've got loads of bits like that around here. 22 quid, Google Chromecast, beautiful. And Mr. Philip John, I'm not going to say your last name actually, in case I completely dox you, has picked up the first pack of the crayons, Crayola, crayon, Crayola, Crayola crayons packs. Got loads of them, listed them all yesterday. He's picked up the yellow orange, even though I realised on eBay I've actually just put yellow, didn't see the word orange there. Be all right, they're still yellowy orange. Don't even think he's gonna use them because he said, hi mate, fan of the channel. More tat that you wouldn't sell if it weren't for your subs. Weird stuff, only for nostalgia, but looks so cool. Hope the offer is acceptable. Phil, one, two, three, four. I've got listed at 49 on a pack or about 18 quid for two packs, something like that. Yeah, the offer's fine, mate. I'll take good offers on these. I've got loads of them. Phil, really appreciate you, mate. Get it out today. And that's all the sales I've got. Three sales since yesterday. I've got two more to pack from yesterday that haven't shipped off just yet. They need to go out. I'm actually not going to take you to a charity shop now. I've just realised I'm not doing it. But we are going to draw one of the giveaways. I'm not too sure which one it is now. I might just draw both. Yeah, we'll draw both. Right then, my little princesses. We've got two to give away now. This one is for the chicken. Chicken, chick, 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 chicken. Pop that in there. Anything goes. 110 comments. So for the chicken, chick, 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 chicken. The winner is... Bam Bam Wiggy, class dude, class, accent on point. Hakai the new, terrible. Oh, it's terrible. I could have done so much better than that. Massively appreciate you, mate. All contact links are down below. Come on over and let's move on to the next one, which is for the ball of nothing. For the man who has everything. Get up there, you little swine. Get up. For the man who has everything. Come on, copy it then, boy. Random comment generator. Sorry, mate, you've won, but you gotta go. Pop that one on there. Oh, I've got to reload it, of course. Pop that one in there. Fetch him out. Anything goes for the ball of nothing. And the winner is going to be. 
Ash Official, I would have paid £15 for that Valentino Rossi framed picture. Well, Ash Official, I know full well that picture is still in there. And it's only a quid. So if you want to pay £15 for it, you let me know when you pick this up and I'll buy it for you. Congratulations, mate. Link's in the description down below. Well done to all the winners. Oh, Jesus wept. Clap on. It works. Clap off. Congratulations to both winners. Contact me. The links are all down below. Instagram and emails. They're the best places to get hold of me. So quick little recap. Hold off on Vintage Pro for a minute. Wait until it's properly ironed out. And when it is, you'll know because the boxes for the information they're asking you for will accept the information that they're asking for and not other random dodgy information. Take care, everyone. Ooh, another giveaway. You ready for this one? All you've got to do is comment down below and you can win a blobfish, a blobfish squeezer. And again, another little TV thing that I picked up. I thought, oh, I'll have that. It'd be so cool. Yeah, yeah, I really, really need that. You don't need it. You don't need anything that you buy from Timu. It's a blobfish. It's a stress reliever. It is disgusting. And to be honest with you, if you really wanted to, you could... Whatever. Comment down below for your chance to win the blobfish. Take care, guys. See you in the next one. Love you. Bye.